This tutorial is about wirelessly transferring photos from your PC or Mac to your iPad or Android tablet. I know that traditionally you can connect a lead from the iPad to the computer, but sometimes getting the computer to recognise the tablet is problematical. But I've discovered this little app called Air Transfer and you don't have to bother with any wires at all. Let me just show you that if uh, I go into apps and then type in air transfer, if I, I touch the search button first down the bottom here. This is how you would find it. Touch on here, then go up to the top and type in where it says, if I touch that, the keyboard comes up and I'll just type in air transfer. touch on that and it's gone away to search for it and now here it is this is what it looks like now as I've already downloaded it it's asking if I want to open it but obviously if you want to download it you've got to hit a touch get and then it will load down onto your iPad <clears throat> but I'm going to click on open right now the screen I've got, got here you will probably see a different screen first but to get the screen that you will see first you click on this down here in fact probably every time you open up your transfer you click on here and you will find this URL here then what you do is you go into your web browser on your PC it could be Google or whatever else you want to use and you type in that web browser. So if I if I do that on here, so it's 192.168.1.6. Right, here we go. I'm going to type it in here. I'll put the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168. Dot one dot six, then a colon, and then it's got eighty eighty eight oh eight oh. I touch that, and you can see the screen that comes up. Now we are actually connected the iPad and the PC, or in my case, it's a Mac this time is actually connected so if I take any files from here I'll show you if, um, we could flick back just to look at the iPad first let's see if I can do that there you are I'm going to click on done here first Now we've gone back to this screen. Now I'll go back to my PC. I'm now going to download a couple of photos from my PC or Mac onto my iPad. In fact, what I will do is I'll download them from the memory stick that I've got plugged into the PC it's just as easy to do that as it is to download photos straight from your PC. So right, let's go and find where my memory stick is. Click on here. Three photos there. And I've got to be able to see where I've got to drop them. And it's here. So now if I drag, now I've got the three selected. If I just drag one, it's taking the three across. Put it onto there, and you can see it's ready to download. I'm ready to drop them. I'm going to take my finger off my mouse, and straight away they've downloaded. Now, if I go back to my PC 
uh, to my iPad, sorry, to see what's happened there. And there's three photos I just downloaded. If I touch that, this is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. They've all been downloaded as quickly as you'd want to do it, really. Sorry about the abrupt end there. I blame the gremlins. But um, you should have got the general gist of what you have to do. You can transfer back from the iPad to the computer. But due to Apple using or trying to save space on the iPad, they use a form of compression in the latest iOS, which zips the files into a folder which then is not easy to open once it's transferred on the, to the computer. But transferring one photo at a time works okay. Yeah, you could try that. Anyway, thanks for listening. Bye for now.